No school on Monday, but it was a very busy day and night of high school hoops. Heart of Illinois conference play in tournament action. The boys' quarterfinals played at the Shirk Center with the top seed. El Paso Gridley takes on Hayworth. The Titans give it to Micah Meese. Spot up and hit that three from the wing. Some nice passing here in the fast break. Aza Smith to Jake Funk. He'll spin and score off the glass. Then it's Smith with a spot in the zone. He's going to find it, turn around, shoot it, and score it. EPG rolls to a 62 29 win. Also at the Heart of Illinois Conference Tournament, it's Leroy and Lexington meeting in a quarterfinal. Panthers ahead early, Ian Johnson, a mid range jumper that goes down. On the other end, Lexington's Ben Peacock driving the seam. He'll score off the glass. Close game until the end. A nice lob over to uh, Leroy's Luke Stupfer. He's going to lay this one in, and Leroy's a winner 47 to 44. Non conference matchup with Washington traveling to U High. Pioneers attack the baseline. Ty Blake beats his defender and scores the floater. But Washington controls the tempo of the game. Isaac Mapson with a drive and score, two of his 10 points. And a terrific spin move here from Drew Lewis of Washington. He scores the game high 13. The Panthers won Friday, Saturday, and Monday. Three in a row, 52 39. The win for the Panthers. Same schools meet in girls hoops. It's Washington and U High and the Panthers. Georgia Duncan on fire from the opening tip. She scores 12 of her team's first 16 points. U High with a nice inside outside move here. It's a kick out to Kayla Peterson. She buries the three from the wing. But it's Washington coming out on top. Carly Vaughn, a three ball of her own. The Panthers win at U High 49 to 31. The girls' heart of Illinois conference quarterfinals played at Eureka College. The top seed is Fieldcrest playing Lexington. Nice strong move to the bucket here by Lexington's Faith Cagle. But it was quite the afternoon for Ashlyn May. The Fieldcrest junior scored all 10 of her team's first quarter points, drives and scores here. Then off the pass from Ella Goodrich, it's May scoring two more. She finished with 20. Fieldcrest wins 49 to 21. Fieldcrest gets the winner of this second matchup between DMAC and El Paso Gridley. The Titans' Jordan Cannon. Aggressive move down the lane for two here. But DMAC will pound the glass for an offensive rebound. Kenzie Knowles finds McKenna Crithers. She's open for a jumper, which she'll hit. And later, Addison Swidinski to Lexi Cottingham in traffic. A three point play here. DMAC is a winner, 35 to 30. Also at the Heart of Illinois Conference Tournament, Tremont and Tri Valley. Tremont goes inside to Erin Pulliam, patient, and she'll score from the far block. Tri Valley gets on the board as Kendall Shively knocks down the mid range jumper here, scores from, from the baseline. But Whitney Rumble leads the Turks. To the win, she scores 23. Tremont is a winner, 54 39. Final game of the night, Ridgeview and Eureka, with Ridgeview on a third quarter lead trying to upset the third ranked Hornets. Morgan Donaldson, a foul line jumper for the Mustangs. But it's another big night for Ellie Cahill, chasing down the loose ball here and scoring and drawing the foul. Three point play, she had 26. And Reagan Linder ahead to Cheyenne Knapp for another three point play for Eureka, which advances with a 56 38 win.